Well, for so many people, novel coronavirus symptoms can last weeks or months. These patients, given the name long haulers, have in theory gone through the worst impacts of COVID-19. And even though they've tested negative, they're still experiencing symptoms. So what are the challenges that come with this little known diagnosis? Kirsten O'Connor is standing by now to ask a doctor. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. It is little known, Candace. That's a great way of putting it. And there's really not a lot of consistent reasoning for this type of diagnosis. I recently chatted with Dr. Ashraf Lukman, a pulmonary and critical care physician at Oviedo Medical Center. And for COVID long haulers, getting over the virus is only half the battle. You have these very sick elderly patients that if they survive, and some of them do survive, they actually do well, surprisingly long term. Most of them have actually released from my follow up uh, because they've just recovered, the lungs are recovered. Then you have these, this group of patients that they get over the critical nature of this. They're not actively dying, their oxygen level is usually better, but they have these myriad of symptoms uh, chronic fatigue, uh, chest pain, um, uh, lack of energy, uh, sometimes chronic cough. If you see neuropathies, um, and um, it just doesn't go away. Uh, it just lingers and lingers. Now, he says we've known about this with other viruses, including the virus that caused the SARS outbreak. And some of those patients were still having issues a year or two later. You talk to anyone who's seeing patients as a follow up, we're seeing a lot of these cases. And it's interesting that's not always in the most severe cases. These are not the patients who are at risk of death in the ICU. These are patients that would have had a minor illness, maybe even at home, or just in the hospital for a few days on a little bit of oxygen, they went home. They're not really the sickest patients that were dealt with in the ICU. So if you've done your best to avoid getting the coronavirus, Dr. Lukeman says that's the right thing to do. For someone who's saying, I just want to get it over with, you know, get the virus and get it over with people. I don't know if you remember initially, they would have parties to share the virus. Um, you know, trust me, as someone who sees these patients every day from as young as 20, as old as 100, you know, I've had that's really been my, and I don't see kids, and I'm sure it's even worse if you have a kid with COVID. You do not want to get this. You know, you do not want to risk it. You do not want to take the chance. Take your precautions. The best thing to happen to any one of us is not to get this virus. Mm -hmm. uh, because once you get it, it's a flip of a coin, how well you'll do when, and even if you survive, and luckily most, most patients will survive, is, you know, do you want to really live with these potential sequelae or complications for six months to a year? Do you really want to do that? And Dr. Lukman expressed that he has also seen a lot of patients dealing with mental health challenges that are dealing with these long hauler symptoms. So that's just one more thing that uh, he is encouraging people to look out for and get help for if you are experiencing that. But lots to look at and uh, we are continuing to follow all the vaccine updates as well with all of the physicians in our area who have been battling this for so long.